Depending on what kind of membership site you're running, you may be more or less concerned about account sharing. So account sharing is when a person signs up, pays to become a member of your site, and then shares their login information with friends, family, colleagues, whomever. In today's demo, I'm going to show you how to use WP Bouncer, a plugin we wrote to help sites combat account sharing so that they can be sure that everyone logging in and using their membership site is a unique user paying for their membership. Keep watching. Okay, here's my Must Love Dogs demo site. I'm gonna log in as my admin user. Perfect, so I'm in the admin of my WordPress site. I'm gonna navigate to plugins, add new. WP Bouncer is available in the wordpress.org plugins repository. So if you search for it, it's free to install and free to use. So I'm gonna install and activate. So what happens by default after this plugin is installed and activated? What it basically does is limits a one logged in session per user account. So uh, this user account is logged in on this site. I'm gonna set up a free user account and then I'm gonna demonstrate how when I open an incognito browser, it still lets me log in that second login attempt, but it then uh, bounces the previous attempt. So it combats account sharing in a way that it will never allow one account to be logged in from two unique kind of fingerprints or devices. Um, so there is still the potential that people will share accounts, but it will make the experience really bad for the person actually paying for the membership that every time they try to log in, they might be getting bounced out of using it. Um, so it's kind of the, the best way we've found to protect account sharing. So let's um, see what that actually looks like. So I am already logged. I'm gonna log out of my admin account here. And I'm going to sign up for, I guess it doesn't have to be a paid account. Let's log in for this one. So we'll call this one like, you know, bad sharer. This is our bad sharer user. Cool. All right. So I set up my subscription. I, I'm the bad sharer user. I'm going to tell everyone what my user information is. So after I complete checkout, I'm able to log in. I'm going to browse the blog. I'm going to access all the members' content. Hooray. Okay, cool. So we're going to create a new incognito window. And I'm not logged in in this incognito window. I'm going to try to log in now as that bad sharer user. And it lets me log in and browse the site. So the person who gave me this login information, thank you. It's letting me log in and access everything. But what's happening for my previous user now is that when I now try to go access things, it beats me out. And I get this screen, which interrupts my login. There's an issue with your login. Your user account has logged in recently from a different location. So that is the experience people are going to have. If they do share their account information, then they go try to log in. The other person who's logged in from a separate device is going to get booted right out of the system. So uh, that's WP Bouncer. There are some code recipes you can use to allow a certain number of simultaneous uh, login sessions. So sometimes this is useful if you run a online school or an in-person school and you want to give a classroom of students the same login credentials, but limit it to 30 simultaneous logins or 100 simultaneous logins. We had a user that wanted to do something like that in the past. Um, some other account sharing tactics you may hear about or be curious about um, is that you'd save the IP address and fingerprint the user at checkout and then from the future on only allow login for that exact fingerprint. Um, we don't really encourage this because it can create such a bad experience for the people who are paying you. Let's say you have a $150 a month membership to a course or some coaching program. I happen to go on vacation and I need to log in to access my information. My IP address is different. The fingerprint of my computer will look very different at that time and I'll experience a block from accessing the content I'm actually paying for. So it can lead to some bad user experiences uh, we like WP Bouncer because it's just that soft nudge to say, hey, if you're doing this, everyone's going to have a bad time. Like, can we just sign some people up um, to, to their own accounts? Another thing people like to use is a two-factor, which would mean we log in with our username and our password or our email address and password, and then it sends uh, some kind of notification key, whether using an app like Authy or it could be a text message-based two-factor authentication so account sharing in those uh, with, when using those plugins is very challenging because, you know, you'd have to say, hey, you know, I'm trying to log in. Can you give me that code that they just texted you from your phone? Um, so that's kind of another path people take. But if you're curious for the, that kind of drop in, set it and forget it, WP Bouncer is the way to go. It's available for free in the WordPress.org repository.
Thanks so much for watching. I'm Kim Coleman. Like and subscribe to this video and this channel. We have more add-on tutorials and other uh, great information for membership site creators just like you.